Right, this is a very quick tutorial video on exactly how Spicula works and how it can kind of change the way that you do your sessions. Now, a normal ghost box, you have your two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever, how many banks, you set your sweep rate, you set it going, and then it sweeps between those banks of reversed audio or whatever audio that the developers put in the banks. And you asked your questions, but you're playing it out of a loudspeaker normally, which is fine, and you can ask your question, but you're shouting over top of the noise that's already coming out, the reversed audio that's already coming out of the box, and then you're having to listen, and it just is a little bit chaotic. So what we thought we'd do, we'd just change things up a bit, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Rob Demarast, who came up with this initial idea, and then myself and Javier Sanz, with the Geminus project brought this thing to life. So basically what you have, you have your sweep rate, just like any other app, which basically determines how fast it will sweep between the banks when they fire. But the difference is this time when you turn it on, it's not just going to fire the banks. You have a slider. And this slider is the timer that determines how long the banks actually fire for when they trigger. Now the trigger is also very important. So I'm going to set it say at five seconds, now, when I turn it on, I'll leave it at the 350 milliseconds. When I turn this on, it's not going to do anything. It's going to sit silent. And this is the reason for this tutorial video, because a lot of people who get this are going to be confused. So when I turn it on, it's going to start listening. You'll get an animation, and it's going to say, ready. What it's listening for then, it's waiting for you to ask a question. The banks will not fire until you ask a question. Now, the app doesn't understand what you're asking. It's not artificial intelligence or anything like that. What it's listening for is a range of frequency of sound that the human voice falls within, whether a male or female. And we've tweaked it. So, hopefully, a lot of environmental sounds that are outside that range, either higher or lower, will not trigger it. But a human voice, whether it be high, higher female voice or a lower male voice, should trigger it. So it'll, you ask your question, you get three seconds, there'll be a timer here to ask your question. That's more than long enough to get a, a good question out. And then the banks will then start triggering and they will keep going for the length of time that you've designated on the timer. Now, just say you, had, you have, say, seven, seven seconds and you feel like you want more while it's gone. All you do is just slide the slider to renew a new point, and it will then start counting down from there, up to a maximum of 20 seconds. You can only keep it going for a maximum of 20 seconds. So I'll give you a quick demo. Now, I won't speak or anything when I first turn it on, because it will trigger, and I'll show you how it works, how it's listening. Hello, is there anybody with me? Is there anyone that would like to speak to me today? Is there anyone that would like to communicate? Now, as you've seen, it's as simple as that. And what this allows you to do is ask a question, then you get the reply but you're not talking over top of the app and it's not talking over top of you. You ask a simple question, you wait for the reply. Then you ask your next question. So it keeps things very structured, keeps the, your session very organized. But be aware that whatever location you're using this in, if there's other team members with you, they, they will have to be quiet because if they talk, it's going to trigger it because their voices will fall within the range of frequencies that this is going to use. Other environmental sounds may trigger it. As you saw clicking my fingers, didn't trigger it. I can knock on the table and it won't trigger it. But if I knock on another table, it's got a slightly different higher 
pitch resonance or anything like that it could trigger it if it falls within those frequencies but we've tried to tweak it as best we can to take into consideration a wide range of, of, of human vocal frequencies and not environmental sounds like knocks, bangs, scrapes and things like that but be aware that certain environmental sounds could still trigger it like I say, it is not understanding what you're saying, it's just working off a frequency. But it's a kind of a unique way of working. Now, people have asked what Spaculo means, why we picked that name. That name is basically, that is Latin for mirror. A mirror is supposed to be a portal to the other side, and that's kind of the design. So there you go. That's how you use Spaculo. Now, please also be aware that... It uh, that how sensitive it is depends on the quality of your device, as in the quality of the microphone. All are different. I did a test where I ran it on about seven different devices, and on some it act triggered, and on some it didn't. I had to speak slightly louder because the microphones in all devices are all different qualities. But basically, all you've got to do is either speak a bit louder. Or make sure your, your, t your tablet or phone's not flat. Make sure it's tilted up because some microphones are on the back or on the front or different areas. So be aware of where your microphone is. So apart from that, you should have great fun with it. We hope you guys enjoy it. It's something a little bit different. We're very, very proud of it. And we just love the way this this makes you, 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 it makes you think about your questions you're asking as well a lot more than when you just machine gun fire them off sometimes during a session. So we hope you guys enjoy it.